this video, I will show one example of how you can export the Rofus data using a custom Excel template. So I will show the workflow of how to create the template and how to upload the template back to the Rofus for all participants to, to use. So I start with going into report and export. The export I want to create is an occurrence-based uh, export where I get a total of occurrences for each uh, department in my project. So then first I need to uh, decide a starting point for my export and I'll choose the items in room default Excel export. I don't want to do any limitations to my export because now I just want all data to be exported. Uh, if I click next, I will then need to choose the fields in the Rofus that I want to use for either sorting or to have as columns in my Excel. So I'll keep the default list, but I will add some room information. I want to know the department number and the department name for the rooms I export. And I can take this number and I can place it on the top of the list. And the department name, I can place it in the second row here. So the first thing I'll do is simply to do an export of the item in room export. So I get all my raw data in an Excel spreadsheet. So basically this is it, displaying all the fields as columns that I, I have decided to include in my export. Next, as this is a template, I don't want the header rows in my Excel. So I simply delete those. I can also rename my uh, sheet, the first sheet here to simply being a data sheet saying this is where I want to export my raw data from the office. And I will create a second sheet, which I will call the actual report items per department, for, in, for example. So this is where I want to build my sorting uh, and, uh, and layout of my Excel export. And in this exercise, I will use a pivot table to group all occurrences to their correct department. So I'll say insert pivot table, and then I need to select a, a range of data. So I go back to my data sheet and simply select the columns and then create the range of data I want to transfer from my data sheet to my items per room report sheet. Hit OK. And then I'm ready to build a pivot table based on my data sheet. There's different ways of building pivot tables, uh, different methods. So I will just do it uh, the way I like to do it. First, inserting the department number. So I have that in my uh, column A. I want to adjust the display a little bit to have it show the classical way for, for starters and also remove the subtotals to get a more cleaner look in my table view as I add columns here. Second, I want the department name to be displayed. So I'll insert that. So now I have some more information in my pivot table. I will also remove the, uh, one sec, the subtotal for department name and then I want to sort by item number. So now I have grouped all the correct items that is used in the different departments. I'll uh, repeat the exercise of removing subtotals and add name as well to my list of columns here. And then I need to drag in to the value fields the quantities of each item, meaning all the quantities of occurrences. And I have included the gross quantity as a field I can drag into this uh, value field section. And then I have to 
switch the values from just a count of the gross quantity to actually the sum of gross quantity so I get the correct uh, summary of each each item. So in this case I have built a report uh, that lists all the departments. I can use the filters to look at which department I want to see. I can see which items that belongs to each department and I can see the total quantity of the different uh, items. So this is the result I'm looking for. I want the Rofus to produce this result every time I do a new export. To do that, I need to save this as an Excel template. So uh, I don't want any data to be stored in my template. So I need to first delete all the rows in my data sheet. So it's completely empty. Then I go back to my pivot table and I go to data and I'll refresh the uh, table so it becomes blank as well. So this is the setup I wanna, want to have and I'll then save this locally on my computer. I call this for Excel item template just so I can find it when I'm uploading this back to the Rofus. And that's the second step. So I will just close down this Excel and go back to the Rofus. Now I have all the columns already ex uh, established. I won't do any changes here now. I'll just hit the new save option in the bottom of my, of my screen. And I say yes to the question. And then I have a dialog opened up where I can give my uh, new export a new title. So I'll call this for items per department. I can also give it a description and I can also share it with all the users in the same database. So everybody can use this uh, custom Excel export. Lastly, I want to take off the use template file because I want to upload my Excel template that I just created to export to that template instead of using a blank template, which is the default way of doing exports. So I select my Excel item template, I open it up. It automatically suggests that I will export to my data sheet and that's correct. And I want to start export to cell A2. And I don't want the Rofus to create new headers for me because that's already inside my Excel template. So when I hit OK, the new export will automatically be placed in the section Excel project exports. If we take a look at this one, you can see there's no limitations yet. I can do that now before I export. If I go to next, you can see that all my fields is saved. So I don't have to build anything when I have a saved export setup already established. So I can simply hit generate. I can hit no. And then I have the output from the Rofus that I want to, to have. So this is a simple way of customizing your data, uh, export the raw data from the Rofus, have it organized in, uh, in this case, a pivot table, so you get a more readable result to present to your coworkers. Thanks for watching.